What's up guys? So today you join me from a completely different setting to what you used to. Now, I'm gonna start this video off by asking you what car I'm in. Now, I'd like to see the sort of response I get going off. The only thing that I'm gonna show you right now is this part of the interior um, and myself and my face. So, get on Google, get on this, get on that, and have a look around as to what you think I'm driving right now. There will be, you know, a review on it, and there will be, you know, little bits and bobs on it, but first off, I wanna see if anyone can guess what the car is. So, all you car, you know, enthusiasts out there should be able to spot it pretty quickly. And there'll be a big story about why I'm sat here right now in an up and coming video, but I'd like, just like to leave it out there to everyone at the moment to see what you come back with and what your responses are to what I'm driving. As you can see, I'm on my way to the gym, got my, uh, pre-workout right here absolutely chucking it down now it was a lovely day a minute ago so i was actually going to do a video on the bmw but as it's a very shitty day i thought bugger it i'm going to go to the gym and talk to you all about first cars i seem to get asked a lot these days about you know what should i buy as a first car what's cheap to insure what's you know what's good on fuel and stuff so i think we'll have a bit of a chat about that my main thing at the moment is though, I won't go into too much detail about pricing and you know stuff like that because I think that should be down to how much you can afford rather than um, you know what I say and what comes out of my mouth. Ambulance. Do you know, I wish I'd put the camera facing up. A guy just saw, obviously saw the uh, ambulance in his mirrors and just literally crashed into the curb. Just literally whoop straight into the curb. Fucking crazy people. They want, I know you can understand you want to get out of the way, but don't like nearly roll your car over by doing it in the process. I don't know. So yeah, first cars. Now I'm gonna talk about my first experience of you know owning and you know insuring and running a car. Um, and then I'll sort of go into a little bit more as to what I would have changed and what things I think other people should sort of look out for. So my first car, obviously everyone would probably know by now was a Corsa C. Um, 2003 in ultra blue um, at the time I was just turning I think I was just turning I think I was 18 and a half or something like that when I started looking for one the main reason I waited you know past 17 and past 18 to actually buy one is because I was too into bikes at the time so from my personal view I cannot you know go through you know pricing and you know how it was to actually drive my first car as a 17 year old because I was too into my bikes at the time to care about cars really. Um, I still had a big love for cars but the insurance quotes I was getting at the time I was just like I, I literally couldn't afford it and I don't think many 17 year olds can afford stuff like that. Um, it's alright if you got back up from you know your mum and dad and I you know I appreciate you know mums and dads out there that can help you know their sons and daughters get on the road when they're young but Unfortunately, you know, it doesn't happen to everyone and I personally wouldn't have liked it. I'd have rather gone out and made my own money and, you know, worked hard for my shit and all that sort of stuff. So, at 18 and a half-ish, I had a bike, you know, it was going well, but I wanted a car for the winter that was coming up because I couldn't stand driving my bike around. You know, really liked the Corsa C, always liked it. The one car that got me into Corsa C's at the time, now, and we are talking about eight, you know, or nine, maybe nine, even nine years ago now, was there was a 2003 black Corsa that used to drive around where I used to live. And I always used to think, oh, that's such a nice car for, you know, what it is for, for the money. And, you know, they were, you know, cheaper than other cars at the time. But this one, and I'll, I'll put my hands up now, it had a body kit on it, it had neons, it had big rims and all this shit. But that was pretty much back when that was cool and that when that was in. The whole Euro scene wasn't really here at the time. And especially on the Isle of Wight, you never saw a car low with deep dish wheels on it. That was more of a VW thing and no one really did it to European cars. I sort of thought at the time, yeah, I wanted, you know, a little body kit, nothing too max power and over the top. But I had my heart set on a Corsa C and that's really what I wanted to do. So at the time, being like, you know, 18 and a half, I decided to start saving, you know, looking at insurance and stuff, and I sort of wanted to wait a little bit. Um, at the time, I was taking my test, and I'd passed, and that was fine. But I didn't wait, I didn't actually get one until the, I think it was December, um, when I actually had a little accident on my bike and fell off. 
um, in the shitty weather. So that really, you know, proved the point to me that I should, you know, go and buy something else at the time. I really should have done it previously before I destroyed my own bike. But who was to know that there was oil on my back tire in the ice, hey? What I did was, um, I sort of wanted to search around. I wanted a second hand one, obviously. I wanted one with relatively good mileage and I wanted it to be blue. And I know it sounds stupid, but I really liked blue at the time and that I literally, it was either blue or black. Blue was better for me. I preferred the blue, if I'm honest. So that was really what I was gonna go for and that's what I wanted to shoot for. Um, I didn't want to just generically buy something that was cheap on insurance because I did not see the point of me doing that. If I'm gonna spend my hard earned cash, young, insuring, you know, a one litre for fucking nearly a thousand pound, why would I want to be driving around something that I don't want to drive around in? Um, and that's a common misconception, I think, with newer drivers. What, like, people ask, what can I get because I'm young? Well, find a car you want to start with and then see if, you know, you can get one with the lowest engine possible or one that's the cheapest to insure. I think there's no substitute for getting every number plate under the sun, going on moneysupermarket.com and just literally going through every single car you like the look of and seeing how much they are to insure. You you never know what's gonna happen. You never know, you know, what's gonna be a little bit cheaper to insure than others. I think at the time I paid 1,600 pounds. This is talking eight years ago now for a 2003 uh, Vauxhall Corsa. Um, with, I think it had something ridiculous, like 26,000 miles on it or something. And it was actually being driven around by a, a small Asian lady. Um, it had, you know, a set of wheels on it. I think they were like Wolf Race five spoke things, but they were color coded to the car. So it looked quite cool. And, you know, as an 18 year old, what more could you ask for? Do you know what I mean? You, you know, it was cheap to insure. I think I paid on my first year around 900 pound, which wasn't too bad. Which I didn't have any no claims. I didn't have anyone else on the insurance. But, again, with the whole insurance thing, I do feel like it's down to where you live, obviously. It's down to, you know, I think half the time, it's down to what road you live on and what number you're at sometimes. If you're in a, you know, a well sought after area, I'm gonna say, for, you know, thieving cars and stuff, you're gonna be out, you're gonna be paying more for insurance, let's be honest, it's gonna happen. The thing I usually say when people ask me, you know, what's cheapest to insure, well, insurance is based on you as a person and where you live, so you need to really do it off that. I can't really say, you know, this is going to be definitely cheaper to insure than this is because, one, I've probably never tried to insure the car that you're asking for, and I think it's the area. I live on the Isle of Wight and there's no crime down there, so of course it's going to be cheaper. So that's a big thing, and I think. If you really want a car that much, you'll obviously pay for what you, you know, what you, you want. Like the people I used to hang around with, you know, back in the day, you know, you're 18, you're driving around through McDonald's, all that bullshit. You know, you know how it is. We've all been there. We've all done it. And everybody wanted a 106 GTI at the time, and they were, you know, they weren't expensive to buy, but they were fucking expensive to insure. And I do not remember people at 18 paying any less than £2,000 to insure one. But everybody wanted one and it wasn't because, you know, the price of insurance, because they would pay the 300 quid a month it was or whatever it was at the time. They were willing to pay that, they didn't care. They were more excited to have the, you know, the GTI badge on a 106, that was the idea. So um, that was quite a big thing, especially around my area. I think areas are slightly different, um, but on the Isle of Wight, the 106 GTI was the car to have at the time and every 18 year old wanted one, so they were willing to pay the, you know, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000 pound um, insurance fee, which is insane to me, and I'd never ever in my life pay insurance for that, like, I would never even go anywhere near that price in my opinion, even for, you know, a fucking Lambo or something ridiculous like that. You can sort of understand it with that, but 3,000 pounds for a 106 GT, that's a lot of money. The car itself's only worth, at the time, probably around, 2000-ish, you know, for a good one. I don't know, it's a bit it's a bit hit and miss, I think. But it's down to what you want. You, you know, if you wanted one so bad, you're gonna fucking pay it, let's be honest. So a lot of people I sort of knew, at 17 would buy a 106, you know, one litre or a Saxo or something small, small and French, Clio, whatever. The next year, when they turned 18, they'd have one year's no claims and then straight away go and buy a 106 GTI and insure it. But they would still be playing 
just ridiculous money for the insurance and you know it's because they wanted it they spent a year driving around this one litre um, to know that they're gonna buy GTI after you know I can understand it from that point of view but I still just bloody wouldn't pay it I think it's ridiculous I think with insurance especially these days you're able to you know get it down with a black box and all this sort of business put your mum on it I think until you explore every route there is, you're not going to be able to know that it's probably 500 quid cheaper to do this or it's 500 quid cheaper to do this and that and this car's a little bit cheaper but that one's going to be better on this. And tax as well, if you're going to buy, you know, an older car, the tax is going to be, you know, quite firm as to where it is. It's going to be relatively expensive. But if you're going to buy a brand new car, you're probably going to pay monthly payments for it, let's be honest. Your insurance is probably going to be cheaper, I think. I, You know, me, at a young age, I'd never buy a, a, a brand new car because I wouldn't see the point. I'd probably end up crashing it, if I'm honest. It would be up to you if you actually wanted to do that or not. Do you know what I mean? If you're willing to pay the monthly payments when you're that young and go to work and do that, then that's fine. You know, I have nothing against finance cars and, and you know, financing it, especially when you're young because it's, you know, it's a lot of money to a young person to put a brand new car on finance, let's be honest. But you'll probably get cheaper insurance, cheaper tax, and cheaper to run. It'll be cheaper to run all day long. So, you know, I can completely understand where people are coming from when they do that. So yeah, to all the people out there that, you know, asking what car should I buy for my first car, my, uh, above everything, go get some insurance quotes, go get some number plates off loads of cars that you like, Check the market for what you can afford, because I think if you've got 300 quid, then you're not going to be able to buy whatever, are you? Let's be honest. And try every insurance company under the sun to see how much you can get it for, because it's not it's not worth you trying to insure something, being able to pay the, the money for the car, but only doing one insurance quote through one you know provider and finding out that you can't insure it, but not doing the research behind it all. Do you know what I mean? I would like people to go out there and sit there for hours on end trying to insure different cars so they know exactly what they're looking at and they know exactly how much it's going to be here and it's going to be there and if I put my mum on it it's going to be this and if, if I have a black box thing it's going to be this. The whole black box thing as well I, I am yet to experience it but I won't be experiencing it because I don't believe in that if I'm honest. If you, if you, I like cars too much to buy one and sensibly drive it around and I know it sounds fucking stupid by, like for me but I buy cars to enjoy them, not to impress someone to save some fucking money. So it's, oh, I don't know, I can understand it when you're young, but if I was older and I still had a black box in my car to bring my insurance down, I'd just be, I just wouldn't do it, I wouldn't do it, I don't see the point. There's no way you could have a nice, you know, loud car and travel around at bloody 30 mile an hour everywhere and not go and enjoy it on the B roads and stuff, do you know what I mean? It's just, I'm not a fan of that, but I can understand it, I can understand it all. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think. I will probably do a more in-depth review, you know, video about insurance prices and stuff, and I will go back and, you know, get loads of insurance price costs from um, different providers of different cars and all this shit, and I'll put my age down as, you know, 17, 18 years old. And let me know what you want to see next. What videos do you want to see next? There is some cool car reviews coming up. There's a lot of BMW content coming up, so don't worry about that. It's just the weather. The weather is putting everything off, and it's a fucking nightmare. So guys, hope you like the video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.